Hello and welcome to Living Room Requests. Living Room Requests. Hello there. That's Patricia Hammond. That's Matt Redman. And that's you... Matt Redman's guitar. And that's Patricia Hammond's voice, which is of <laughs> the classically trained mezzo soprano variety. So if that interests you, keep watching. If that doesn't, click on something else. But yeah. we're going to sing a bunch of songs today. Uh, what people might term old songs, but very nice melodies from the past, from the early mid. 20th century, so stay tuned if that's your kind of thing. Yay, so 1940s, I'm actually wearing lipstick today called Victory Red, and it is a replica of the um, red that was issued to the Amer the the women in the American forces because it was it was supposed to go with all skin tones. Very interesting. Cool and warm and neutral and it's from Besame. I what's your I review find it of so it? So fun. And, I uh, I just love that stuff. I love that stuff. It's like candy. How I don't many subscribers do you have to get to get um to then pay you to wear it? <laughs> I'd love that, but never mind. I'm well, sure. look, if you haven't watched this before, you basically. Click on the description of this video in the link. You go to a page, patrishhammond.com forward slash request, and you can see all the songs that have already been requested Lots. by watchers Lots. of this channel and this series. And then you can request your own. You just send money on PayPal. It couldn't, could it be easier? It Probably could, could not. be easier. Well, yes. We could connect a device to your brain yes, to read your mind. But well, yeah. other than that, very easy. Very good. Now we're going to start with Moonlight Serenade for Rog. This is a Glenn Miller song. And um, well, you might say it was one of his theme tunes. I suppose. Yeah, it's very beautiful. And, uh, he's got uh, some things. I hope you can. Oh, they might not be able to see that. Oh, well, a, it's, it's a, a glockenspiel. Glock and and if you can't see it, I'll just there, it, is. there right. it is. I might have put it a bit low. <laughs> we anyway. purchased we purchased this glockenspiel. With help from Ian Rosenblatt, who who funded entirely funded yeah, our Glockenspiel, uh... our Songs of the Great War recordings. Oh yeah, so, yes. twenty fifteen. So we, we call it the Glockenspiel des Rosenblatt. Check that out. Right here we go from there the very go. beginning. Hmm. Nineteen thirty nine. Mm. Serenade 
ways come to me tenderly in the June light I stand at your gate and I sing you a song in the moonlight a love song my darling a moon <laughs> Were those the, the, the lights of Something the stars? Something to twinkle, to twinkle. let the lens flare. Ooh, oh, okay. we get lens flare in moonlight. Um, Very nice. Some of those 1970s filmed sort of cop shows where they're clearly filming in the full California sunlight just with a, with a, with a blue lens or something. Oh. It's like night, and then they stick crickets over it and... Well, people's perception... Don't fool me! People's perception, like, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes people look at... What about Tina? I'm like, yeah. People's perception of, you know, television and uh, movies from the past. You know, we go, he, 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 he. But I mean, you know... No, first it's great. Time, hey, first time round. Love it. It's like when people laugh at what they call cheesy music or something like that. It wasn't the first time, was it? No! So, if you enjoyed that... And, you know, this general sort of era of songs, that type of singing, uh, do, we do encourage you to press the like button, which is like a thumb that goes up. It's in grey when you don't press it. What colour does it go when you do press it? Ooh, uh, uh, black. Does it? I thought it went red. No. Does no, it, it doesn't goes go black. red. But if you want More to people talk it about red, red, there's another button very which, dramatic. which is over down that way which is a, is a rectangular button called subscribe. And you can actually click that anytime during this video or any of the other ones. And then that goes from red to, is it gray? Uh, uh, I, mean, I we, do it. I do subscribe to people because I know that it, it costs nothing. It doesn't involve any spam or anything. It just, it just gives that person the feeling that what they do is, 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 is validated. Well, in our particular case, it's still locked down here in the UK. Um, we don't know whether we're going to lift the lockdown and we're still playing the predominantly large amount of our live music right here uh, yeah. in the living room. And so you know, it helps us spread the message of living it's room It's just requests. lovely to do things that people want, you know, after so many years of doing things that, you know, I don't know. It's just really nice to have that relationship. So now these next two are from John. Um, this is... This is from the Broadway Melody of 1938. So just one year before the one we just heard. Um, and it was sung by Josephine Baker. And then her sort of rival in, um, is it Miss Danguette? Is that how you pronounce her? Miss Danguette. Uh, it's one of those names that I've, I've seen yeah. and I've heard her, but I've never actually had to say it. Uh, anyway, she then did a French translation of it, which uh, very much is sort of that of a prostitute um, saying that she's looking for it. The original is called I'm Feeling Like a Million, even though I haven't got a dollar, a penny or a sou. But then she went, I, sh I am looking for a millionaire. And she says, uh, who, who wants much of me at least once a month and who will tell me quite coldly that everything I have is yours. Uh, I want to have the stuff that stars have. I want to eat those uh, omar, uh, the, the um, you know, lobsters. Um, and it's for that that I, I fais le boulevard, or le boulevard. It's for that that I walk up and down the boulevard. Oh, his, his, we don't want his, 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 yeah. We have a light here, a ring so light. Wardrobe malfunction that and done. he figures that... It washes him out if he if it's if it doesn't have a, a rather tatty um, so net sense. curtain over part of it. Well, I'm gonna explain. You know, it's, it's interesting. Anyway, so yeah, so we're gonna do it first with the French chorus. Then we're gonna go back to the original English with its much like. So you can construct a story out of it if you want. You know, from going, I am looking for a millionaire to, hey, well, I'm feeling like a million, so. Oh, what I do like you make that. of it? 
you know, I feel like a million. So maybe it's, what maybe you'll accept somebody what? who feels like a million instead of has a million. What year is it from? 1937. Okay. Well, it was in, it was in the Broadway melody of 1938. Nay show her Brown did the music. Arthur Freed did the words. That is one heck of a songwriting team. They did a lot. Brown and, and Freed. He's checking. He's checking to see the lighting. This is live, you see. We don't edit these. Oh, that's the first time we ever like in, keep... like, how many concerts have we done now? I should really get some proper duct tape, how, not how just many a one-pound variety. How like, have we done over 100? I'll, I'll have, we'll have to look Something that up. Something like that, yeah, because we should sort of note when the hundred well all I, no no i don't think we have i think we've done about i think we've done 81 Almost. duet living room request concerts approximately or 83 maybe rings a bell keep those requests and that's in. the first time we've They're, had a it's great. first time we've had a light we just had a request for a hildegard of bingen so it'll be a little while because you know there's a, there's, a, there's a little waiting period not much but here we are then right here we go now just let me remember starting in we're starting on the chorus. Yep. Don't forget the sound paper. In the oh, end. and that. Okay, great. Je cherche un millionnaire. Is it me? Is it love? 
feeling I could jump up to the ceiling Cause I'm feeling like a million Though I couldn't buy a collar, a necktie or a glove Still I'm feeling like a million Is it you? Is it me? Is it love? A nice what? song. That's one of the songs where I think that the word set, in my personal opinion, where the word underlay, je cherche a millionaire, sounds kind of preferable. I feel like a million. I don't know. Just I in my know. opinion, it, it's a, it's a yeah. it's a nicer sounding of the word air. It, it seems to work nice on that long millionaire. millionaire. You know what I mean? Yeah, it and lingers on that that beat. Yeah. Also, how many people said in the 1930s, I'm feeling like a million, as opposed to I'm feeling like a million dollars? Yeah. And perhaps that's why as well. It, Comment below, like depending on what you think. Actually, it technically is written, I'm feeling like a million. Right. And I was singing million, which is probably wrong i don't know i don't know why i did that i i guess i was looking at the the way that you'd say it and rather no, than reading not, the often not the a bad way to go yeah i try and i try and be more conversational but actually it is literally written i'm feeling like a million who's that guy without his million. clothes on on that sheet music there the sheet music oh now yes show this Sheet music covers. We love our sheet music covers. Sometimes we insert them so that you can see what the original was like because the signifiers are great, the, the costumes, it, it really, really brings it to life. Well, that's, um, the thing that it, it, that's the thing that got your attention in the beginning. Yes, that's why, you know. So sometimes we insert them to, so that you can see them if they're, if they're of note or sometimes if they're not of note. I mean, I don't know. Um, this one... This is interesting because John has asked for this and John has asked for a lot of things I've never heard before uh, or heard of before. But this one I've been carrying with me since I was a child. In fact, you can see it's it's this. This is a, a eight and a half by ten rather than um, or whatever you call it. Uh, it's rather Canadian than, paper. Yeah. Not British. It's fat paper. and friendly. Um, and gosh, I love this cover because look at him. She's. You know, she's she's a proper she's a she is no sylph. You know, he's strong. It's it reminds me of when I did this duet for the Reform Club for some dinner and they, they had they, they had to have this operatic baritone, you know, they could have just had me and it would have been half the price. They had this little operatic baritone and he had a shtick. He's a very big husky guy. People and love a if shtick. you're watching, I'm terribly sorry, but you know, it's the truth. And um and he had the shtick where we did La Chi da La Mano and the thing is is that his character sort of runs off with her and his shtick was he'd pick her up, Zerlina, and take her off. And the thing is, he could pick me up, but it just, it looked like more like a feat rather than an effect, you know? It should be like a little, oh, let's go, instead of, Whoa. all right, everybody, applaud. It's a bit scary. <laughs> and I felt like an idiot. I felt very embarrassed. Anyway, this guy, they both look pretty nice, don't they? Wish you were here. Wish you were here, Harold Rome. Nineteen. Anyway, I've I've always carried it and I've never performed it, so it's not amazing that he's asked for this. I had to really dig it out from a lot of stuff. Yeah, from the fifties. Okay, from the top. Okay. Remember your special. I remember the thing. Nice percussion instrument, the clave, so clave, and uh, here with us on the mando cello. We wish you were here, but instead we've got YouTube. And I'll know when to cut out because it'll be obvious. Okay. Hang on, I might sneeze before we play this. Hey. So give us a minute. <laughs> and if there people are thinking I'm a bit subdued today, I'm not upset. It's just that it's uh, to follow the story from last week, I have, uh, or last time I should say, I have started more antibiotics. He's on my horse face. pills. They are unbelievably They're strong. Big. Six times stronger than last time. So uh, they do take. A big toll on me back and still play the guitar just about. It just looks pale. Here we go.
That was like one. I was thinking about, you know, I don't know if you know the musical compositions and arrangements of Henry Henry Mancini. Oh yes, very. Nineteen fifties and sixties, and he got all the strings. And I was thinking a very gentle version of that on the sort of ever so slightly southern European tropical warmer weather than the UK in spring. You used that as your inspiration in the arrangement um, on, oh, yeah, on um, um, our lovely oh, day of yours till the stars yeah, lose like their glory that. has a little people who own the CD Patricia out. Hammond our lovely day 2000 and is it 10 or 12 no, 12, 12. Or um, 11 it was it was recorded in 11 it came down came out in 12 then you'll hear the song Yours, which 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 channels a bit of that, aren't? Uh, oh no, it was twenty eleven. Was twenty eleven? Yeah, ten years ago, ten right. years ago, pretty much to the month. So if you enjoy it, check out the 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 previous videos where I'm not on as many antibiotics, and uh, I don't have this thing on my face. For anyone who's interested, it's fine. It's called a pyogenic granuloma. There you go. That's your word of the day, people. Sounds like an instruction on a piece of music. <laughs> <laughs> so um Tempo yeah we'll see you next time how many times a week is living room request twice and we got more special episodes coming up yes and sometimes with a special like yesterday's which was for st patrick's day diddly dim diddly dim. okay so we'll see you on the next time thank you so much for watching um you know we we enjoy playing we enjoy new new songs yes. uh old songs new songs every old week. new songs and uh you know supporting us huge this time. repertoire thank you so much bye bye thank you